Hey everyone, I'm Norn Queen Alexis and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first battle report of 10th edition that we got. So, we are on this weird planet thingy where an Arvis Lighter has crashed. This Arvis Lighter belonging to the Inquisition. So the Inquisition sent in aid. The Space Wolves answered. But, chaotic knights started appearing. These ones are not chaos, they're like renegades we're gonna go with for this game, right? The renegades? Sure. All right, so Renegade Knights answered the call and came in to try to kill them and take the Inquisitor as a hostage. So, the game that we have today is uh, Search and Destroy, pretty taken hold, and Fog of War. Super simple game for our first missions, and yeah, let's take a look at these armies. So this army is pretty, pretty easy to go through. It's um, 2,000 points of Space Wolves with Inquisitorial allies. So leading this army, we have Rosalina Lockwood, my Inquisitor. She is in a band of Inquisitorial acolytes. Uh, they're all kitted out. We have two Blade Guard units, one being led by Ragnar Blackmane and a Lieutenant, the other being led by a Lieutenant and a uh, Blade Guard Ancient. We have Logan Grimnar on his dinosaur, leading a squad of dinosaurs. Uh, these are Thunderwolf Cavalry with a Wolfguard Battle Leader with Thunderhammer. And this squad is repeated three times, so all of that is the same. The only difference is this squad has a Wolf Lord in it. Then we have a unit of Scouts, and that is the 2,000 points. So going over the Imperial Knights, what do you got? All right, we got a Night Lancer. That's per usual. God, it's so big. Yeah, I know, I love it. Uh, we got the Crusader with his big guns. Then we got the Valiant, because I love the Harpoon. And then we got the Castellan, because I like big guns. Uh, any enhancements? Uh, yes. Um, Mysterious Guardian, so he can teleport. Yep. And Unyielding Power Gun, so he takes one less AP when he's shot at. I have one on my Wolf Lord. I honestly forget what it is. I'll get back to you with that. Some quick things about my list really quickly. Uh, he has Hunter's Instinct, so he's going into reserve. And I forgot to mention that I have Ragnar Blackmane. Not Ragnar Blackmane, uh, Harold Deathwolf. That's who that is. Hi, Kovu. You doing good? So in reserve for this game, I have the Wolf Lord. And I'm going to reserve this unit just because I don't really have the placement for it, except for putting it back here, and I just don't want to. So this is my deployment. I got my Thunderwolves taking two sides to run around the terrain here and hopefully get this objective while storming into the Lancer and that guy. I have my scouts holding down this objective in this ruined factory. I do, I do love these. These were so good. I'm so glad you printed these for me. Yeah. Um, the Acolytes are holding this objective, and everyone else is ready to charge forward. The Knights are just kind of all over here. They're just, they just want to come forward as well. So, the important role. Who goes first? I got a four. What do you got? You got a two. Wolves, turn one. So for the Wolves' objectives, we have Secure No Man's Land and Area Denial. This is what end of movement looks like. The Inquisitorial Acolytes are still just going to hold down this objective. Uh, these guys are still going to hold down this objective. This unit advanced one inch. Uh, I got one guy on the objective here. This unit advanced two inches but couldn't clear the barricades or the um, Ministorum crates. This unit moved and uh, advanced three inches, so it was literally one, two, three. Not great charges. We oath this unit and now we're going into charge phase. So, the big important charge, into the Lancer. Do I make it? I rolled a five, I make it. Because it is a very close charge. I'll measure that, actually. The second charge is into this guy. And that one we get the nine, which is what I needed. Grab our handy dandy measure stick, just to see where my wolves can go, because I want as many to touch base as possible. So, we can get this one and this one. 
I did forget to mention we are using Lance on this unit. So we are out of CP and I could have rerolled that charge, but I didn't. So we're just going to keep it. Or should I Lance this unit? Oh, decisions. Um, Lance. No, because I, I wouldn't know how many I'm going to Lance that unit because I would have Lance that unit regardless. Okay. Hitting on threes. And then... We have no rerolls because he is not the oath tar he is the oath target. And sixes are gonna be uh lethals. So we're just gonna fish for sixes. So we're just gonna reroll everything. And get two more out of that. And then two miss. And then he's toughness 12, right? Yes! Toughness 12, I'd be wounded on sixes, down to fives. So that's gonna be three additional wounds. So we got eight saves on the Lancer. And that is gonna be two, four, six, eight damage. Eight feel no pains of a five up. Ooh, six up. Six up, save two, take six damage. Then we have the uh, wolf guard, not wolf guard battle leader. He's a, yeah, I think he's a wolf guard battle leader. I always forget what their damn names are. Uh, he is a wolf guard battle leader on Thunder Wolf. Yes, I am smart. He has four attacks, hitting with a thunder hammer. He's gonna get two lethal. And I'm just gonna reroll these. He's hitting on threes. One miss. Strength eight would be wounding on fives down to fours. Nothing. Two wounds. AP is two. So he's got a five up save now? A uh, four up and more save. Yep. Makes both. Logan Grimnar is going to do ten attacks because these are two damage each. I could do the bigger swing, which is six attacks, and they would be dealing four damage each. But I think the weight of dice is actually better in this case. So we get three lethals. And then I'm just going to reroll everything because he's hitting on twos. Try to get more lethals. He is the oath target, so that's why I'm getting the rerolls right now. We miss twice. We get an additional lethal. And then his strength of this attack is six. So wounding on sixes down to five because of lance. That is three additional wounds. So all in all, six wounds from Logan Grimnar. And his AP is only two. Four up. Yep, four up info. Two, four, six. Six damage. Feel no pain. Takes five damage. So we got five of the Thunder Wolves attacking in. Can you put that back in my hand, peas? No. Oh, come on, peas. All right, I'm doing Logan's Wolves separate, his dinosaur separate. So these are hitting on fours because they're just doggies, or in this case, raptors, but they're still getting the lethal hits from the Lieutenant, and they're still getting all the rerolls. Yeah. Hitting on... We're just looking for sixes. That's two additional. So we're up to six sixes. And then out of hits, we didn't get that good. These guys, these guys are fine. They're fine. Keep in mind, this unit used to always have thunder hammers on everything. No. Uh, one additional hit. One additional wound. So that is seven saves at AP1. Four up. Seven. Yep. And then two damage apiece. That is going to be eight damage. You stop hurting my knights. Six up, feel no pain. Mm. Take seven damage. How many wounds is it down to? Seven. So Logan can potentially kill it. So six attacks from Logan. And the reason I have to do these separate is because if he kills something, specifically him, I get a CP. Uh, that's one lethal. Let's move these. And then I'm just going to reroll everything. Those wolves are still hitting on fours. So it's two lethal, two misses. Wounding on fives. That is three wounds. I cannot kill you. That is two saves. Two damage. Six up, feel no pain. 
Make neither. Take two. So over here, uh, these guys are going to go ahead and pile in. He's going to go to here. He's going to go to here. And then all but one of them are touching. But he's not because this one is base, so I can't move it any closer. This one is touching this one and also touching that one. There's not enough of a gap here. So unfortunately, I missed one of them. Okay, so heirloom weapons or heirloom weapons, how do you pronounce it? They have lethals, but no rerolls. Uh, this one is not part of that roll. And we got a, quite a few misses. Oh, wow, that is a lot. Okay, and then wounding you on sixes. Uh, that is only four wounds. This is where these guys kind of fall apart. So, four uh, saves. AP minus one. Three. Oh, three plus. Uh... Take four damage. Feel no pain, take three damage. Bullshit is this. Okay, so I wasn't gonna record that, but the wolves just dealt six damage to it, five damage to it. Just the dogs, or the raptors in this case. And I still haven't even attacked with the characters yet. So I'll just do them real quick. Whoop. Uh, that's one lethal. And three hits, because this guy hits on threes with a thunder hammer. And then uh, that's uh, four devastating wounds. And one, so two saves, four devastating. Toughness 13. Oh no, sorry. These are three damage thunder hammers. Yeah. Toughness 13? Yeah. Uh, eight, 16. Yeah, no, still fives to wound you. So two saves, AP minus two. Um... Make, he has a two plus base, right? Yep. Yeah. Make one, take one. So that is nine damage from just uh, the lieutenant who's right here. Once this thing decides to focus. Seven damage. So you take, you save two. And then uh, Ragnar Blackmane gets to it. Not Ragnar. He's Ragnar. Harold Deathwolf gets to attack. So I just realized something while... Um, while doing this uh, this game, and uh, I just checked my list. He's not in the list. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one unit out flanking with a character. The other character is him. I took him out to make room for the scouts. So uh, ignore that, everyone. That was imaginary. Woo. You're all just, you know, succumbing to Zinch and, you know, you changing and chunk and shooting fire out of orifices. So you're using a stratagem called Thunder Stomp to give them devastating. Yep. Uh, then I recommend doing the one with a billion attacks. Yep. Uh, that's the plan. Yeah. We were debating between the Lance and the um, more attack things, but he's already wounding on twos. Uh, is he hindered? Yes. So he's got minus one to hit. Yep. Just threes. Okay. So hitting on threes. Uh, well, he's not hindered at all. He just hit with everything. Yep. Okay. And then uh, uh, strength. Strength uh, 10. Winning on threes. And then sixes are devastating. Yep. So that's devastating for three damage. Uh -huh. And I have nothing to save that. So one is down to a single wound. Wait, wait. Because he can do it. There we go. That's, well, that's going to kill this one. Guaranteed. Because Devastating Wounds don't spill over anymore. No. And then it's all but two. So it's yeah. five? Yep. One, two. Uh, AP minus two. Yeah, it's a four-up info. I, I don't even ask uh, AP anymore because with these guys, their base is three plus and then it's a four-up save. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I lose one and a half Thunderwolves. Uh, so I'll lose this one. And one is down to a single wound, which I need to grab a dice for. Because it's three damage, right? Yep. Okay, one is down to one wound. All right, that's your crack back. And um, so for the turn, uh, when ending the turn, one or more units from your army, excluding aircrafts, are within three inches of the center of the battlefield, uh, and no enemies are within six. I made sure this guy was within three inches, just to make sure I will... 
just say he does. Well, he attacked, so I think I accidentally pulled him out. Yep. Oh, oops. Let me double check this. So uh, the measure sticks giveth and the measure sticks taketh away. <laughs> I, I failed that one. Um, I'm honestly going to hold on to it, though. I score five points for secure no man's land, which is good. Um, end of your turn, yeah. So I score this one, and I'm going to hang on to area denial. As we go into knight's turn one. Oh, at the end of your turn? Yeah. Picking that guy up. No. Okay. Going into ongoing reserves. He can come in turn one, right? Yep. Because he counts the battle round as one higher. He just has as much of six. Ups. Yeah. All right. Good explanation. All right. So objectives of the turn. You have a defense stronghold, which I don't think you could do first turn. Nope. Throw a new one. Yep. And establish locusts. Uh, it technically gets shuffled back into the deck, but yeah, we'll shuffle it back after. Marked for death. So I have to pick three of my units and you have to destroy them. Ugh. So, oh God, you have something in, well, I can't pick my scouts. Because if I pick my scouts, you're just going to teleport behind them and just kill them. And that thing has the flamethrower, right? Yep. Oh, gods. Okay. Take your scouts. I'm going to pick the Inquisition because you can't teleport here because it's my deployment zone. And it's still first turn. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I, uh, I don't like any of this. I'm going to pick um, this unit of Thunderwolves because it's hard to kill. Um, and, and these guys. Hi, Kovu. What are you doing? You being silly? He's being silly. What are you doing, buddy? Hmm. So this knight needs a battle shock test. You need to just roll above its leadership. It should be like leadership seven, I assume. Or six. Six. Oh God, they're really good. Oh, okay, God. roll above a six. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So he's not battle shocked, which is good. That means you could just back up and not uh, suffer death immediately upon backing up, because that's a thing. All right. We'll get back to you after movement. Okay. okay. So end of movement phase. I just want to get a nice view of this knight. It looks so cool. The Night Lancer is my favorite knight. It just looks so badass. So, the knight shimmied his way over to here. He just walked over the buildings. We are ruling that this is just the one building on the ground so that the knight can just walk over it with no problems. And he walked out of combat with them. Now, the thing about this unit is if Lexi shoots it, I get to roll a d6, well, after all the shots are done, and move into combat or move as close to an enemy unit as possible. So if you shoot this unit, there is a chance that this unit then goes into that one. And I'm making sure my opponent's aware of this because doing gotchas is dumb. Don't do that. Don't be that player. So knowing that, this uh, knight came in here holding this objective, staying outside of the distance uh, for them to actually hit into us. So this way I can't go into them. I can't go into them. I can only go into this Knight Lancer. Funny enough, we can't find anything that says this Knight Lancer can't establish locusts. Um, we might be wrong on this, but we're allowing it for this game. Uh, yeah, so this Knight stayed in combat, but it can actually shoot. And so it could put all of its shots into this unit as well to try to kill them. But it also has line of sight on them because of its large base getting around the building. So yeah, let's see what happens. Cannons and then three rocket pots. So this thing remaining stationary gets sustained hits one. Yep. And it's going to put everything into this unit. Yep. All right, uh, let's, let's see it. Light them up. All right. Okay, so this thing shot its flamethrower and actually killed the last, uh, the one wounded guy in this unit. And now we're doing the Gatling cannon into them. And I'm gonna use a stratagem, go down to zero. And I'm going to give you minus one to hit and wound them. How dare you. The stratagem is called Ride Hard, Ride Fast. Gives them minus one to hit and wound. Uh, until the end of the phase, so it affects them for all of the shooting. Alright, so hitting on fours then. Yep. Which is a threes. 18 attacks, six extra hits. Yep. That's quite a few. Wounding on fives. 
Which is not a lot. Two wounds. Mm. Four pinva. Deals damage. How two much? damage. Drops one down to two. We'll just go ahead and just put a two over here, and we'll put it on this one. Okay? All right. 26 plus six shots. Yep. Because it's within health range. Everything is within health range. And is it a blast weapon? No. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, yes, it is! Uh, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So, yeah, you get the plus one on this. So, so it is 2d6 plus one. 2d6 plus seven. 2d6 plus seven, yeah. That is gonna be uh, five, six, seven, eight plus seven is 15. Hitting on fours. And those sixes explode. Yep. Which takes this one, this one, and this one with. So then you're just missing a couple of shots. That's it. The rest hit. Uh, I'm gonna roll that again because he has a reroll in hitting. Okay. <laughs> that uh, takes another one with him. Awesome. So all of that hit. Uh, strength ten. Uh, wounding on threes. Wounding on fours because a minus one to wound. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Seven wounds. Seven, Seven wounds. wounds. Alright. AP minus one. Three damage apiece. Looking for fours. So that is one wolf dead. That is two wolves dead. Uh, actually, that's two and a half. So, uh-oh. That kills this one. This one. And then this one is wounded. Because that is going to be one to kill this. Two to kill this, and then this one has a wound on it, so it actually dies. They fall apart. They are no longer a squad. Oh. Uh, they don't fall apart until you're done shooting, though. Oh. The rocket pods Does miss. Nothing. Okay. And then, um, what other weapons? Does it have? Six stubbers. Uh, three stubbers, sorry. Uh, two stubbers. Wow. You got this. He has double stubbers. Double stubbers. It took me years to figure out he had two. <laughs> By the way, you didn't just look at the model and be like, "Yeah, there's, no, one, there's right one here, there's one here, and there's one yeah under the cannon that I just never noticed <laughs> for years. I've been playing it with a single stubber. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. All right, let's see. That is. I like that other balloon. I like the texture. So it's only three hits. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> and then straight four. Wounding on sixes. It's a stubber. What do you want from me? It gets a wound. Uh, go on the lieutenant. He saved. Oh, the lieutenant is this guy. Yeah. Uh, I always call the wolf guard battle leaders lieutenants because they're basically lieutenants. Okay. All right, is that it for its shooting? That's his wish. <laughs> now, my guy is no longer a unit. He doesn't get to move. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yep, but now there are two units. Uh, you did score marked for death because... Um, if you kill the squad that the characters are attached to, it doesn't just go to the characters. Ah. Uh, you just kill the squad and they're fine. At least don't do anything. So the Siege Breaker cannons and the Melty Guns are going to go into the Wolfguard Battle Leader. Everything else, including that massive harpoon, is going into Logan Grimnar. Alright, uh, do you want to just start with the harpoon? No, it's again the harpoon. Okay, alright. What do you want to start with? Uh, we're going to start with the missile. Okay. One shot, hits on a three. Yep. I wish you were Titanic, but you know... Pew, miss. He's gonna use his reroll. Are you sure? You don't want to save that for the... This? Maybe. <laughs> That's a tough call, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I miss it. Or flamer, flamer into him. Uh, flamer into him. Right, so that is gonna be 11 hits. Yep. Wounding on threes. That's a good chunk of wounds. Eight saves on a three plus. Does not care at all. Dang. No. Fucks given at all. My dinosaur just shrugs off a flamethrower. Harpoon. <laughs> yep. All right, let's see it. So you're gonna finish with the harpoon. Yeah, I'm finishing it on him. Okay, okay. Just finishing shooting into the unit, and then I go for the next one. Yeah, that's fair. 
a pawn. Hits on a two. Hits. Okay. Thank you. Uh, got a wound on a two with a strength of 24. Yes. Uh, he's neither a monster or eagle, right? Nope, he's mounted. Yeah, shame. I so, just... two plus. Yep. Give me a six. Just, just, just to deny you everything. Oh, that would suck. Three, that's a wound. Yeah. AP minus six. Take your animal safe. I make it. Shame. He took no damage. <laughs> I hate four plus in motives. It's why I use them on everything. Yeah, I know. Also, I forgot my unit of wolves in reserve. <laughs> Oops. Alright, uh, melt the guns into this guy. It's what? Four shots or two shots? Two shots. Twin linked. Yeah. They've changed the twin melt guns as a being. I liked them better when they were four shots. Yeah, me too. Alright. That's uh, one hit. One hit. Uh, you do still have your reroll. You're right. It's two two hits. hits. Strength nine. Wounding on threes. It's two wounds. Four pinva. Make one, take one. Damage d6. Yep. So two one? Um, yes. Two? two? No, just one. Just one. <laughs> one damage. Hot dog, he lives. Three wounds. Sea triggers. Yep, I think he has four wounds. Let me just double check. Oh, he has five. Boop. All right. He gained an extra wound. 26 shots. Nine. <laughs> Set the black tamper. And threes. That is uh, not great. Mm, That's what, four hits? Four hits. Okay, strength. Strength six. Yep. That is four to wound. See? Don't do anything. See? Nothing. Uh, that is four wounds. Holy crap. AP? Zero. <gasps> Three up save. I take a wound. Damage? One. Down to three. All right. Well, that was one of them shooting. Siegebreaker, that <laughs> yep. last. So Siegebreaker and the plasma into the scouts. Yeah. The um, volcano lance into Logan. And then missiles and uh, melt into that. Okay. So I'll just start with the lance because it's quickest. It's also the thing you want to re-roll. Yeah. Three shots. We'll take the two shots. Hitting on. Three. Fours. Four fours. Uh, Miss one, hit one. Reroll. Re -roll. Miss. All right. One hit. Strength. 18. A billion. Winning on two. Re You're using your reroll? Re Rerolling off. <laughs> you get it. Yep. Four up. Got it. He fails it. Damage. You're really deaf. Uh, ten. He's still alive. Wait, 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 Never mind. Never mind. He has re-roll against monsters and vehicles. On oh, damage. He is neither of those things. Yeah, I know, that's why I said. He's down to two wounds. Boom. Man. Ouch. Could have, could have hit for that two wounds or... Uh, I still have <clears throat> missile launchers into you. Oh yeah, these are missiles into them, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, because they're not blast and they can shoot them in melee. All right. Uh, one hit. One hit. I'll take that. Strength. Twelve. I'm assuming eight. Oh, uh, two. That's a wound. Four pinva. Makes it. Right, Are so you sick of hearing four pinva yet? Not yet. Okay, don't worry. The next two squads have it as well. So that, that feels useless. <laughs> All right. All and right. then the plasma into them. Yeah. Uh... What's your strength uh, Toughness? Yeah, toughness is four. Oh, cool. I don't even have a supercharge yet. How much health do I have? They have two wounds each. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with supercharging it. Yeah, it's two damage, right? Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't uh, supercharge. She says you'll have four up anyways either way, so... Yeah. <laughs> but minus two is not going to matter. Oh, no. They don't have a four up invo save. They don't? No. They're the only thing in my army without an invo save, aside from the Acolytes. What's the save, then? Uh, four plus. We're gonna have two to give him minus three? Yeah. 
I do get cover, so I will take one AP off of that. So I'll still get a save. Yeah, but you But know. it's better than a five up. Yeah. All right, go for it. All right, D6 plus three shots. And then plus one for blast. Yep. So that is gonna be three plus what? I, I already so forgot. D6 plus three, so it's a four plus five, so it's nine. Yep, see, I already forgot. Yeah, you're horrible for getting... Yeah, you, that is very true. I'm just gonna do a couple of fly eyes to look at this army, because look at how pretty it is. See, it's got dinosaurs in it. And dinosaurs are awesome. And this Inquisition blob. They might not do anything this game, but they look cool. Alright, go ahead. Are you having fun? <laughs> yes. Uh, hitting on threes. So, hitting a horse. Yep. That's pretty good still. I'll take that. Three misses. Yeah. And then strength nine. Winning on twos. Yep. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Six ups. Sixes. They're dead. <laughs> they get cooked. Huh? <laughs> oh yes. Okay. And now just for uh Yep, you don't hurt yourself. It's ones, right? Yeah, it's just ones. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, are you done shooting? I mean, I can't shoot with him because he fell back, so yes. Alright, I get to go first in combat oh, with no. this into this. Oh, no. <laughs> just stub your toe? <laughs> Maybe. Alright, hitting on threes. <laughs> did you just rip your pocket off? Yeah. <laughs> How did you do that? The bag is shocked. <laughs> Hitting on threes. Oh, that's not great. That's wonderful. Oh, that is actually pretty bad. That's wonderful. All right, uh, that is a lot of misses. Holy, Holy crap. Okay. Um, the hackathon no misses. All right, I only got three lethals. <laughs> and then it's three additional wounds. Mm -hmm. So six wounds. T13? Yeah, that's why I'm wounding on sixes. Yeah. Sixes. Yep. Uh, how many? Five. How many? Uh, six. Six. And, and they're only one damage each. AP minus one. All right, three up tips. Yep. And you make all of them. Okay. Let's just do the thunder hammer. All right. He misses twice. Wounding on fives. One wound. AP minus two. Takes it. Two damage. AP minus two. Yep. Two saves, well, two feel no pains, takes both. Okay, and then I'll just do the wolves off camera. AP? Yeah, uh, AP minus one, they only dealt two wounds. No. There, you're fine. Doesn't care. Okay, and that's that. Uh, you get the fight back. <gasps> I get the fight back. He's gonna need a leadership, he's gonna need a leadership. Oh no, he's not. He's down two wounds. So yeah, do your attacks back. No, I'm not gonna do it from the shop. <laughs> That's funny as it would be, but not worth it. What is he hitting on? Force. All right. That is one hit. Yeah, he does get the reroll. This is a different phase. Yep. So reroll one to hit. Heck yeah. Strength. Eight. Three. Two wounds. AP minus one. I make both. No. Oh. All righty. So now we go into Space Wolves, turn two. That, that was one turn. Oh, uh, you do score both of your things. Yep. So you're sitting at two, five, seven points. Seven. Alrighty, start of the phase, I draw one card. And I get established locusts as well. So um, I need to take that middle. Um, Logan Grimnar, is he stunned? He doesn't care. I, I meant to say battle shocked, but I said stunned. Uh, he doesn't need to yet. He has five wounds normally. So he needs to lose one more. Doesn't he have a squad? That's why no, he lost the squad, <laughs> so now he's on his own. What about these? Uh, they are not down enough to lose mm -hmm. any. What about your shots? Oh, they're gone. Oh, wait. <laughs> so at the beginning of the turn, I only hold one objective, so I get five points. Okay, end of movement phase. The blade guard moved up to engage the knight, but seeing a wounded knight come out, Rosalina has bravely moved out to meet it in combat. <laughs> Yes, 
Because a psyker can definitely do this. Funny enough, in the lore, they actually can. But we have this unit moving up so that we can shoot and engage this. The blade guard unit, just in case it can't finish it. We came in from reserves with the uh, wolf lord unit. He only needs a nine, uh, an eight to charge because he has plus one. I forgot to bring him in turn one. It's my bad. Give him an enhancement for nothing. Uh, Logan and his pal came over here to deal with this guy. Uh, over here, the wolves fell back so that they can charge. And over there, more blade guard came in. So, we have shooting. Rosalina ordering her two servitors to open fire on the Imperial Knight. Two D3 shots is gonna be two shots. They're not very good. She needs new servitors, but every time she has a disobedient uh, acolyte, she turns them into servitors. I guess, you know, she's still evil. I mean, she's a good guy, but good guy in 40K is evil in every other setting. Hitting on fours. One hit. Ooh. D12. Yeah, this is overcharging. Nothing. Do they hurt themselves in their confusion? Yes. No. Okay. I'll do the Acolyte Firearms off camera. I forgot to mention they're on the bottom floor. I just do this so that my opponent can see them. Uh, they're actually out of line of sight. And the only one that can shoot, uh, I just don't want to. It's a waste of time. Good. All right. That's, uh, that's shooting face. He's going to call his once per game wah. Everyone is going to benefit from this. And this ability is kind of crazy. It, once I can find it. Uh, once per battle in your charge phase, this model can use this ability. If it does, until the end of the phase, until the end of the turn, you can reroll charge rolls made for Adeptus Astartes units from your army. And until the end of the turn, each time an Adeptus Astartes model from your army makes a melee attack, you can reroll the hit roll. Oh yeah, we made that the oath again, because it does not really matter. All right, charge him up. So, Logan Grimnar, charging. Hey, look, he makes it. Boop. The Wolfguard Battle Leader. He makes it. He's going to go over here. Give them as much room as they can. This unit, needing an eight. With a reroll. Fail. With a reroll. Get it with a 10, uh, which turns into an 11. That's where they landed. Uh, the Blade Guard are going to charge, because I'm going to try to get that 9-inch charge and hopefully get a 9-inch, because then I can get six of them into combat. Is he attacking you? He's both trying to get really comfy and attacking me at the same time. Yeah, that's Kovu, all right. So, needing a 9 for the Blade Guard. That's, fails. Fails. Dang it. Uh, the Thunderwolf Cavalry makes it. Okay. And then I'll just do this charge as well. Uh, do they make it? Oh, shit. Okay. That actually sucks because it stops the Inquisitor from charging, maybe. All right, let me check. Kovu, how do you feel about this? Oh, you're just going to attack everything? What are you doing? Just get comfy. You're tired. <laughs> You also want to attack. Kovu heard the wa, now he wants to attack. He's just biting you, isn't he? Yep. And giving you kisses. Yep. Nope, I'm petting you. I'm petting you. I am petting you. I am petting you. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Let go of my pinky. Okay, so that's how they ended the charge so that they can maintain coherency uh, within two inches of two inches. Now this unit's gonna charge. Go get him, Rosalina. Uh, that's a four and uh, one. one. I do have one CP. I kind of want to do it. Uh, this is a very dumb idea. That's the thing. This is very stupid. How far of a charge is it? It's a seven inch charge. I'm gonna re-roll it. I'm gonna spend the CP and re-roll this. I'm down to zero. Because she's not a Stardis, obviously. You fall back. I make it. I can fall back and charge. Oh, yep. So Rosalina is going to make it in. I'm mostly just going to get these Eviscerators in because that's the only thing that matters. Oh, and the Force Staves. Where's the other Eviscerator? You don't have one. Did I not put him in? Oh, there he is. The Eviscerator. 
and then the two four staves are going in, and then everyone else can just... I don't care about them. Okay? Now, some of you will be like, Alexis, that's stupid, you just lost your home objective. You are absolutely correct. I have nothing else to say, you're right, I should not have done this, but I'm doing it because Rosalina wants to charge an Imperial Knight. And I think that's funny. Uh, yeah, we'll just put those guys in real quick. Okay, so over here he's gonna swing five ham five hammers at him. Five hammers. He has five hammers. He did charge, so these are three damage hammers. And he does have lethal, and he is re-rolling everything, and I'm just gonna re-roll everything, because he's sitting on threes. Well, he hits with everything but one. Doesn't get those lethals like I wanted. P13! Uh, oh, I forgot to do Lance. I don't have the CP for it. Oh, well. Uh, that is devastating three damage, and then uh, save. AP minus two. Fails it. Yep. So six damage from Thunder Hammers. From just this guy right here. That is six damage. How many wounds does this one have? Isn't it like 18 or something? 24. 24, Jesus, okay. The Wolf Lord Battle Leader is going to attack now. Four attacks. Uh, he's going to reroll all of it. He's hitting on threes, but I miss once. It's better than missing twice. Um, needing fives. One wound. AP minus two. Gets him. Three damage. Two wounds. Okay, and then there's precisely one billion attacks. The only ones I can't attack is this one and this one. So I'll just get all of their attacks real quick. So the Thunderwolves hit for six wounds. And all but three went through. So that is six damage. So just roll that again. That's three. Takes, uh, you need three more. Just roll that again. And takes, um, yeah, takes five damage. AP is one. So these guys just dealt eight wounds, mostly by re-rolling into lethal hits. Eight saves. Uh, making, this is only AP one. That's two. So it's four damage. That's how this army does it. It's four wounds. The other wolf guard battle leader will attack it. This one does not have lethal hits because he only gets that when he leads a squad. But he can just hit a lot. And do nothing. All right, his thunder wolf uh, hits once, does nothing. And then Logan. He's gonna do his big six attacks just to try to hurt it. Yeah, six attacks. We'll reroll this one. Okay. And then I forget the strength of this weapon. Needing fives, it's strength eight. Uh, one. One whole, uh, one whole wound. AP? Uh, it is AP minus two. Saves. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, I was kind of hoping we did more there, but that's pretty good. Uh, we'll get to this one last. We'll do this one. AP one. So the wolves just swung with their heirloom weapons, which they really should just call frost weapons, and just dealt 10 wounds to it. 10 saves, AP minus one. Mm. Needing threes. And each one is two damage. Mm. You got this, I believe in you. Yes. Uh, that is one failed. Two damage. I will. Yeah, that's really good. <clears throat> it's not two damage, it's one. No, it's two. No. The Thunder Hammer's gonna swing into him. Ooh. And it's gonna lethal once. And I'm just gonna reroll all of this just to try to get more lethals. No, but we still hit twice. Looking for fives. Uh, just one. AP minus two. Makes it. And then all the Raptors are gonna swing into it. So the wolves went in, well the raptors in this case went in, dealt nine wounds, 
Needing threes. That is a drop dice. That does not count. Needing threes. That is going to be two, four, six damage. How many wounds left? You don't get to know. <laughs> All right, that's fair. Don't get to know because he might just explode. Does he explode? D6, needing a six. Make him explode. I do wish they had that. Come on. All right. Give me a six, let me explode, no. No, just dies. <sighs> Hi, Coco. Huh? Boom. It appears that there's a bio titan on the table now. You having fun, Kovu? Good boy. Didn't hit a single model. All right. The Inquisition unit is going to swing. These are the Eviscerators first. Uh, that is four hits. Holy crap. Okay. And then wounding on sixes. Uh, they wound once. Uh, I got to check the AP. I wonder if it's the same AP. So four up save for the Lancer. He takes damage. How much? Uh, that's a good question. Two damage, and he ignores neither. So he's down to three. Yep. All right. And then these four staves. Okay, that's only one hit. No wound. And then the Inquisitor. All right, four attacks from the Inquisitor with her force weapon. Here she comes. Rosalina versus a Night Lancer. Hitting on threes. Only two. She can still kill it. She needs sixes. I don't have any CP. She gets it. Oh my god, please. AP? AP is minus two. Four up in Ah! <laughs> Emperor protects. Alright, alright. So it's up to the blade guard. All right, Ragnar Blackmane went into it, stealing the glory from the Inquisitor, and he gets it. Maybe. Uh, two damage apiece. Maybe. Maybe. Go ahead and move this real quick. Cool. There we go. All right, what do you got? I'm needing sixes. All right, let's see it. Uh, dies. Three exact. Does it explode? I'm hoping so. Hi, Kofu. Which one of you was waiting again? All right. Please explode. I would like to see it explode. God damn it. Nope. Knight is just down. Yeah. See, he explodes the third time. How do you feel about this, Kovu? Are you comfy? Okay. So that is uh, my turn. I do establish Locus for two points, and then I do get Area Denial for five points. Good job. That was a good turn. What? So before we forget, uh, the knight is going to fight Logan, because he's all alone. Do I just... Just punch him. No, I just think I would just put there with to try to fish for sixes. Uh, he's only got two wounds left. Yeah, but there's two damage eight. Oh, that's fair. That's no saves. That is true. Yeah, I'm going to do it. All right, down to zero CP. Yep. All right, hitting on fours. Let's go ahead and put this back over here. <laughs> hitting on fours, come on. That's two hits. All right, we're gonna use one of those rerolls. That is off the planet. That is three hits. All right. Come on, give me six. Strength. Eight. Wounding on two threes. Give me six or so. Kills him. Yes! There's the wounds for the win. <laughs> Logan Grimnar is down. Stomp. Yeah, you just stomp on his freaking dinosaur and burn it to death. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we go into knights. Uh, turn two. Yeah. Captain there. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to get past this. This is impassable terrain. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. I do love that he's not hitting a single piece of uh, terrain at all. Like, look at how close he is. This is how well-trained my cat is. And this is just fluff. That's nothing. 
Same with this. This is just fluff. Kovu, can you please get down? Okay, well, he attempted. You know, you don't have to do Battleshock on them, right? Uh, not on them, not on him yet. So, pass Battleshock, and your objectives for this turn are... Extend battle lines and recover assets. Good luck. Okay. I can do this. <laughs> Down to Arvis Slider that flew through this building. The Blade Guard veterans sitting over here. Thunder Wolves over here. Or Thunder Dinos. Oh man. Looking nice to two of them two units. So, end of movement. Stayed still, stayed still. This guy's gonna put everything into them because he can see it around the building. So, go ahead and start with him. Oh, yeah. Pow, 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 pow. All right, let's. Uh... So, I wasn't gonna record this, but um, you just rolled um, 2d6 plus 7 shots with the battle cannon into them. That's probably gonna erase them. So after a billion attacks, there was eight wounds here, needing four plus. One wolf dies, one is wounded. So one is down to a single wound, and another one is dead. So that's two dead this turn. And then you have the Gatling gun. Yep. So again, another eight wounds from the Gatling gun. And... One is dead, two are dead. Because they're only what, two damage each? Yep. Okay. Blah. Still got two, three guys left. Oh, and they're gonna move uh, D6 inches. A whole one inch, oh wow. Eh, 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 that's it. They're simple. So the Siege Breaker cannons are going into them. The melted guns are going into him. Everything else is going into them. Minus one to hit. Uh-huh. One hit. One hit. I'm not going to use the reroll on that. Are you sure? You yes. Can. Because I'm going to use it on him. Yeah, that's fair. That is nothing. Okay. okay. Do you want to use the melted guns against him? Yeah, let's do the melted guns. All right, two shots. Uh, one hit. Do you want to use the reroll? Or do you want to use it on the... I'm going to probably the, to, I'm thinking save it on this one. Okay. Okay. So one hit. One Wounding hit. on threes. That is one wound. Four up invulnerable save on the lieutenant. Makes it. Yeah. Missile. Missile for you, sir. Yeah, here we go. Pow. Miss. Stop. <laughs> we roll to hit. Hits. Hits. Wounding on a strength? Twelve. Two. Give me a six. Just to not give you a save. That is a three. I get a save. Uh, I was hoping you wouldn't save. Well, I didn't save. How much damage? Two! <laughs> do, you, do you want a command point re-roll that? Yes! <laughs> But oh, three. oh boy, you get him. <laughs> Pick up command points. <laughs> that's so dumb. <laughs> Alright, everything else into there. Yeah, that's... Alright, Thundercoil Harpoon into a Thunderwolf Cavalry unit. And this is going to be a thunderous <laughs> shot of thunder. You miss the entire planet. <laughs> you rolled a one. You missed. Yeah. <laughs> You know what it was? Too much thunder. Oh. You've been thunderstruck. <laughs> to be fair, I'll just be one dead wolf either way. It would just be one dead wolf. I mean. Alrighty. So the knight killed two of them. Um, but that does give you extend battle lines because yeah. now you control that objective. Because I only have eight on there and he's OC 10. All right, so you do score extend battle lines, but we do have to fight. You might die. Yep. 
Uh, let's see what happens. Five attacks with the Thunder Hammer. I go first here. Uh, these are not the ones. Uh, there's still a Lieutenant in the unit, so that is an automatic hit. Or an automatic wound. And then fives. Uh, that's devastating, so that's just two damage. Uh, so one save. Minus two, so four up. That's it. And then four uh, feel no pains. Four. Yep. Thunder hammers are good. It's three. Drops it down to four wounds. And then all the heirloom weapons will go. So six lethal hits into it. Doesn't give a damn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, wait, you're right. Takes one whole damage. No. Feel no pain. Takes one damage. Mm -hmm. So it's down to three. And then I have my Wolfguard Battle Leader with his four attacks from his Thunder Hammer. Which hits three times. And devastates once and wounds once. So the armor save, four plus. It doesn't make four feel no pains, otherwise it dies. You need to make two of these. You make one of them, it dies. Why would you want to be this guy? <laughs> so, does it explode? Uh, yes. I just always say yes. No. It is just gone. I roll four on every single explode. Oh, uh, these guys need a battle shock test. They were hit with that flamethrower. Yeah, they were. Uh, they're fine. So they will consolidate closer onto the objective. Okay. So now this game might be a little bit tricky for you. I can do this. All right, so you don't get extend battle lines, but you do get recover assets for how many points? Three. Three points. So as we go into battle round three, uh, the score is 15 to 17 with the wolves having the favor. So let's see what I draw. Draw monster cardo. Call the horde. I can't do that against you. So that one gets discarded. It's going to be extend battle lines and defend stronghold. Oh, I don't want to take the Inquisition back. All right. Meh. So the Inquisition ran back here. And my logic is this. The tech priest that's in that unit uh, discovered something that can commune with the ship above and thus called in a lander to come and get them. Over here, the blade guard moved onto that objective. These guys ran around to move onto this objective. The blade guard moved this way. These guys left this objective to go after that. And this is pretty much the only charge. Okay. Uh, they are gonna make it. I'm gonna spend one for Lance and remember that. So they get to reroll if I want to. Do I want higher than a six? I, I kind of want a higher than a six. Uh, a seven. Wow. Can't go far with that. I mean, oh. I could see them carrying an additional close combat weapon just on their side. Call ass a tail with a... <laughs> yeah. So that well, no, one. like, uh, imagine the giant chainsaw just on their back. I kind of wish they had hands to hold their guns so that they could drop them like Gundams and pull out their close combat weapons. Ha! That would be cool. All right, uh, this whole unit's going to attack that. One can't make it in. So we got five attacks with Thunder Hammer, re-rolling, because that's my oath target. Goodbye. Uh, that is two uh, automatics, because of the lieutenant. Two hits with the re-rolls, trying to fish for sixes. And then uh, no damage. So we got two wounds. Okay. Two four-up saves. Uh, what's the AP? AP is minus one. Oh, right, AP is zero. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yes. So three-up saves. Three-up saves. Two? Yep. That's three damage from a thunder hammer. You'll take all three of it. Where am I? <laughs> and this should be a fresh one. Yes. All right. Four attacks with the other thunder hammer. It's gonna hit every single time. Do I want that? No. I want. I want to be greedy and re-roll this. Oh wow, that was super greedy. I'm glad I did that. Wowzers! One one wound. AP? Uh, nothing right now. Make it. All right, and I'm just gonna do the one, two, three Thunderwolves. So one, gotta grab some dice, two, and then the third one. 
So this is their heirloom weapons, which they really should change to frost weapons because then it would be more thematic and make more sense. Anyway. Wanna be greedy? I'm definitely gonna be greedy. Try to get sixes. I already got one. There's three. And then uh, I missed twice. T12. Yep, yeah, needing sixes. Uh, needing fives. So it's two wounds. Uh, so in total, you have uh, four, five, six wounds. AP. Uh, AP is AP one, which you ignore. Yeah. Because of armor of contempt. But you could just roll like that. Yeah, that's fine too. So that's eight damage. Yeah, no, I'm gonna say seven because. See? I was, I was, it was correct. Six. Six. All right, what is it down to? Fourteen. Okay. And then the uh, the wolves. Or in this case, the raptors. Because of armor, right? Yep. Okay. Seven AP, zero I attacks mean, right I now. Really, I wish you could go down in AP. <laughs> I, no. <laughs> Thunder wolves only have like... I forgot to charge with them! <laughs> oh my god, I'm dumb. Oh, I'm so dumb. Yes. I am enjoying this game though. All right. Uh, you so, take four damage. I don't take four damage. That's would good. they have made it? No. Yes, they would have. Fuck. Okay. See, you take three damage. Yeah. You're down to ten wounds. Yes. He's still fine. He's not bracketed yet. All right, your attack's back. <gasps> I'm gonna stump you. <laughs> yep. I'm not gonna do devastating wounds. It's dumb. Do I have anything else I can do? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna just save CP. Okay, attacking. Two hits. Uh, you get to reroll one. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, okay, two hits. Okay. I'm just curious, you don't have. One billion attacks. Wounding on threes. That's two wounds. AP is probably one. Make one, take one damage. Two damage! One is down to two. Okay, so that's my turn. Uh, I'm scoring Defense Stronghold at the end of your turn, and I do score Extend Battle Lines. So I get it for five points. What two do you draw? We draw no prisoners. <laughs> Kill something. I already know. Um, Can't do that. Right? Not really. Okay. Can do two times. So after all of his shots, killed a few, killed three of these, killed two of these, but now the crack back, and my wolf lord is aiming at his shins. And this is the oath target, so I'm just gonna reroll all of this, except for that six. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just get two lethals, and that's it. Uh, AP2. Uh, AP1. <laughs> so, four up. <laughs> Fail both. Two damage, so four damage. Let's drop dice, yeah. doesn't count. Takes four. Alright. The other wolf guard battle leader? Or the wolf guard battle leader? Okay. Well, he hits once. <laughs> and that's only one lethal. What's the AP? Uh, you fail it. Yeah. It was AP one. Two damage. But one goes through. How many wounds? Five! So, one, it's two. Just, it's just the wolves? It's now the heirloom weapons, which should be called fast weapons, and I'm gonna keep complaining about that because that's what this should be called, and I hate it. Uh, we're just gonna get greedy and try to reroll everything, except those two. Uh, wow, that was a really bad idea, apparently. Okay, uh, we get three, and then we get five hits. Looking for sixes. Uh, okay. So that is going to be six wounds, AP nothing, and only one damage right now. This is how you survive Thunderwolves, by the way. You just keep them locked in combat. 
Dreadnoughts are really good at killing Thunderwolves. And Dreadnoughts are also very good at killing Knights. Yes. Especially they're called Bjorn. Bjorn the Fellhand? I have him. I gotta bring him more. The f F your Bjorn. I hate Bjorn. I have a, we have a couple of friends named Bjorn. Yeah. And... I don't know. They, I guess some of them could be called Fellhanded if they really wanted to be. What am I doing again? Oh, three uh, plus save. Yeah, three plus save. That is one fail. Damage? Damage is only one. <gasps> no, it's going to be a six. Nine. Nope, take one damage. And then that's one, two, three, four, five. I'm not done attacking yet. Wolves? The Thunder Wolves. Thunder, 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 Thunder Raptors? Yeah, Wait. a Thunder Dinos. All right, hitting on fours, but looking for sixes. I get four. And then I'm just going to reroll everything because I'm greedy. This is so hard to do holding a camera. I only get one additional, and then they hit on four plus. So it's only three. And then out of those three, I need sixes, nothing. So five wounds. AP, nothing? AP, nothing right now because of your armor of contempt. I didn't need AP. That's two wounds. Two damage? What is it down to? Is it down to a single wound? Two! Oh my god. It gets to fight back! Yep, it fights. <laughs> Minus one to hit. Yeah, I mean, okay. yeah, I don't care, he's still alive. I'm surprised he's still alive. Alright, let's see it. Uh, two hits, mm -hmm. one reroll. Yep. It's still two hits. Wounding on threes. One wound, one reroll, one wound. Still kills one. Damage? Two! That oh, doesn't kill one. Oh no. All right, I think it's safe to call this game. I think I can't live one more turn. All right, let's see it. So we go to Space Wolves, uh, turn three. Oh, did you score anything? Uh, uh, you did not score no prisoners. You didn't no. kill anything. And Iron Denial is impossible to do. You can discard one of them. Uh, discard area denial for CP. Oh, yeah. So you go up to three. Okay. End of the uh, start of the turn, I get defend strong. Oh, that's my my scored pile. I get call the horde again. I still can't get that. So I get area den... Wait a second. I put these on the wrong deck. This is why you should never put things up upside down. I was wondering what the hell was happening. Cleanse and assassination. There we go. Is that a character? Yes. All right, there we go. You should be at four CP. Yeah, I'm at six now. Dice rolled for six. That's two. And I'm gonna go down to two again. They're gonna lance. Do they make it? Oh, the these guys are gonna charge first, so I don't fuck it up. Eight. Okay, they're gonna go around back. They're under the building, just so everyone knows. Doop, doop. Boop and boop. And then these guys are gonna charge in again. And they do technically have to try to base, so they will go around like so. There we go. And then all touch. All right. So this is just Ragnar hitting in, and uh, that's uh, three fails. Um, he has multiple damage. I forget how much damage, but I think it's enough. He has... Let's get back to this. Ragnar Blackmane. Two damage each. I also forgot that he had sustained hits. So he actually had four more <laughs> attacks, which gave him one more. So he got one more save to make. And you pass it. Okay. So, uh, that is six damage. Do you live? I want to say no. <laughs> Alrighty. He's down to three wounds? <laughs> two two wounds. wounds. All right, you just need to pass all of these. Just roll six sixes. And you're fine. I mean, I've done more than and then you, then you has, just have to survive the Thunder Wolves and the Blade Guard. And he's dead. Made two, though. Mm. Does he explode? Ah, uh, no, before that. Do Valiant I'm, last time? I'm gonna spend two. So he's so, gonna attack? 
So, that go can do a valiant last stand. Yep. Oh, first see if he explodes. Oh no, I can do the valiant. He can, he can do it after he's, even after okay. he explodes. So I'm just gonna do the last stand now. Okay. Uh, where's Ragnar? Ragnar is in this unit. Oh. So I can't target him? Yes, you can. Oh, cool. Well, you can't target him specifically, but his unit is back there. And there's only four of them. They are doing a belated stance for reroll ones to hit. Oh no, they don't need to, because you're the oath target. They're using reroll ones saves. Shield <coughs> stance. I spent one to an epic challenge to give him precision. Okay. Try to kill Ragnar. Kill Ragnar. I spent one more for Thunderstorm. Okay, I like it. <laughs> All out in the end, right? Yep, let's see it. All right. Spending everything. So starting with, okay. <laughs> Two assist because of them. Reroll one. Why are you Okay. And then. Strike eight. Needing twos. <laughs> Do you want to reroll one to try to get a six? Yeah. Okay. Let's be greedy. Just for fun. Nope. You wouldn't fail. All right. Uh, Ragnar has a four up invo. Ragnar has a four up invo. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that was a command point reroll. Take two damage. Oh no. He's so hurt. He's down to three wounds. Uh, and then, yeah, see if your knight explodes. Maybe you can kill him with that. No. And yeah, that's that's the end of the game. The space Woo! wolves have destroyed the, Imper the renegade knights that have come through this area. Rosalina has been rescued. Rescued, she didn't really need it. But, you know, getting shot down kind of sucks. And the Space Wolves continue their crusade on this planet. Ha! Huh, that was a fun game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was really silly. Space Wolves are scary, aren't they? I've known that for a while. Yeah. I love this army. It's so much fun. And this, this edition, I, I kind of like. This is my narrative fun edition. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed everyone. As always, I'm Norn Queen Alexis. There's a link to Patreon down below. I'm eventually going to put content on there once people start asking. Uh, yeah, I had fun. Okay, bye.